The only way you hate on it this hard is because you don't do shit in your own life. What it does is it reflects in them their own inadequacies in life. Because they want to frame themselves as the people who help the downtrodden, not realizing they never take individual steps themselves. They only complain about the system. So they see someone doing a real tangible change, and rather than celebrating it, even though it's affecting them, like thousands of lives of, of people who are struggling, they want to be like, no, because it would mean that they would have to take accountability in their own lives and to do action, but they don't want to. Starting with this controversy and massive growing backlash against YouTuber and entrepreneur Mr. Beast, following him putting out a video where he donated 20,000 <laughs> pairs of shoes to kids in South Africa. With Jimmy at one point in the video, he saying these were their first ever pair of shoes. And while many people's reaction to this was, wow, stuff like this, it restores my faith in humanity. We're seeing good being done in the world. You also had a big growing group of people questioning the philanthropy behind all this, saying things like this isn't really charity, saying he's using needy people as props to make himself look like the good guy. Tweets going viral saying, let me know when y'all catch up and realize how weird this motherfucker is. But in general, those criticizing Mr. Beast and the content, right, they were talking about the, the nature and incentives of charity content. Right? With a number of those people arguing, there are plenty of wealthy people who do public acts of service, but quote, don't frame that work as weird voyeuristic stunts. And others adding, so weird that 20,000 children need to rely on a rich white man from the West to have their basic needs met and get their faces plastered on the internet so he can earn clout. But to that, you had others who support the content saying, no, he's making this content not only to inspire others to do the same, but also by making that content, he's able to foot the bill. With Mr. Beast even responding to one of his critics saying, no, hey, you probably just haven't seen this channel, but actually it is a charity and I obviously don't profit from it. 100% of all revenue from Beast Philanthropy goes towards running my food banks and helping ease human suffering and since inception i've personally put in millions into beast philanthropy that's the whole point make content around helping people to generate more money to help more people like this is so similar to the last thing somebody said that yeah. imagine a rich white man having to go to him and then why aren't the south africans providing for these young people why aren't our governments providing people with the ability to see again with a cheap eye surgery there's I gaps in the world there's holes in places and there are people like Mr. Beast, who are willing to go and help those people. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so fascinating that it's never the people that are helped that are complaining. It's everyone else. It's the people who generally have no history or no track record of volunteerism or any kind of philanthropy themselves. They want to sit there from their little Twitter accounts and say all kinds of crazy stuff. I be thinking these people be bots for real, for real. That's why I'm be paying attention. Like some of that shit be like, I feel like be real people, but all of those like, Fake accounts and all those fucking like, like uh, Finsta accounts or whatever you want to call them, bro. Like any real people to a degree, but I feel like every fake people, cause bro, if you ain't know your real account or you ain't really saying this shit, bro, you just you're a bot, bro. I just I don't get why niggas is upset, bro. He's actually doing something, even if he is making money for it. The money is going back into doing more shit, so it's kind of like. Like, I don't, I don't really, I don't really see it. Like you said, though, I think, I think niggas just upset because they just see like he's showing people how easy it is, and then people are like, nah, it's not that easy. It's like then, then once that becomes the the, the situation, and once that becomes the perspective, now you gotta people gotta take a step back in themselves, and be like, damn, if it's that easy for him to do it, like why haven't I done it? And then now that now we start diving into the problems of like even what he said, bro, the nigga said. If, yo, the, the the eye surgery he paid for wasn't even as, as expensive as I thought it was going to be. It was like 10, 15 minute joint. Wasn't even super long. The government could have easily afforded to pay for this, but they didn't. Because truly, let's be honest, the government don't really care about certain shit like that. If they're not making the money off of it, if, not, if they can't do it themselves, it is But I ask, what kind of engagement have you, engaged, have you been involved in, even on a small level, that's accessible to you? And generally, the answer is very little. Uh -huh. I think this is probably one of the things that hate the most. About the uh, internet? About leftists in particular. Ah, okay. Ooh. Is that they always cry about systemic change and systemic this, not realizing that they have agency in their own lives to affect change on a community and local level. And okay. what they do is instead of actually making any effort to make tangible change, they just sit there and twiddle their thumbs on Twitter. You know, say what you want about twiddle right wing people, but I actually see religious folks taking missionary trips to go help people even if i don't agree with those all the time at least they put in boots on the ground or paying their time out of their their year to go and try to help people in a tangible way they run the stuff in their local communities to help people in a tangible way it's very rarely the left-leaning people all they want to do is protest and cry about systemic issues you know and you can sit there and be like why is the white man 
why don't you ask yourself, why isn't the black government providing that to those kids over there in South Africa? Because let me tell you, a lot of issues with South African government exist today. Mm. And it ain't white people running that country. So I just think it's interesting that the people who are helped are never the ones complaining. It's always the people on the outside who don't even do one third of the work. Go ahead. I'm not gonna go and be like, oh, it's not like, especially in South Africa, it's like black people running this country because South Africa has a, uh, a history of systemic whatever and white people setting them back whatever. I'm not gonna go into that. But anyways, I'm not gonna be whatever. That's well, not you can't you can't bring it up. You can't bring it up and say I'm not gonna go into that. You brought it up, so you did. You can't say I'm not gonna I, mention this counterpoint and then not go into it. No, I said, I'm, no, I w- I'm, not, I'm not, and I'm not, and I choose not to. Okay, well, then I will counter that by saying, you can say that, but their government is entirely black, and even though there is a history of apartheid mm-hmm. that has affected the country, there is no doubt that there is a tremendous amount of corruption by black individuals. So you can't be mentioning the white part. See, exactly. No, because, I, because here's, why I did, here's why I did that. Because you said it and just try to walk away from it. Because it, like it was the reason why I didn't say I didn't go into depth of that, is that you didn't go into depth of that. What you just did right now was explain why. When, when you first mentioned it, you just mentioned it like that. It's like, uh, there's, it's not all that. There's more information to add. I'm about to say shit is about to get real, real, real crazy in here. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought the, I thought the homie was about to get active. You heard him? He said, oh, 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 what you talking about? You feel me? What you, you want a box or something? Nah, we ain't doing that. To that. Talk to you. Yeah, 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 talk to him. You didn't say everything. Now you Facts. say it. Yes, okay. You think in conservation that, yes, there is systemic... Uh, Problems, issues that happened with the government Facts. in the past that put them in that this place, in the and now yep. you now you put a context around that. Facts. Now we could go into that, but you just did. You know what I mean? But I was not about to touch that because you you didn't explain it fully, and now me saying that triggered you into explaining it, explaining uh-huh. everything in a context into that. Into Talk that. to him because, be, because just saying that. Oh well, you My know son, what? Abba is ready to. He's... It's black people running the country. And he should do something about it, and then running off of that doesn't explain the whole context about that. If you put in the 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 the, the, the if you put in uh, the um, what's the word? If you put in the corruption, and if you put in all the issues that there is, and how it's set up, then it makes more sense. That's okay. why I didn't want to go there because it was not all said. But that's not it's not even part of the conversation. Also, it's not the whole thing about the conversation. No, but people were trying to frame it as a white man from the west coming in to fuck shit up. And the reason why I said that is like. It's not white folks who are fucking this shit up right now for black folks in a lot of Africa. That's a lot of our own people. And that's something that we have to be accountable for. So this narrative that whiteness is the majority of the issue, don't get me wrong, there's places where Western intervention has fucked up certain countries, and that's absolutely true. But how are you going to blame a plenty, plenty white individual hyping out the locals when the black governments who have the power to do so choose their own family lineage and their own wealth? as a means to perpetuate their wealth rather than helping the people. So that's what I was just going against. I just thought the comment was deflect, but we can agree to disagree. No, no, we agree. I'm not a fan of those things wherever you... I always, I've always said that whenever you give mm-hmm. and then you don't give your consent to... People don't get the... Are you a low-income American? I don't American see what's going on here because now I'm typed interested. If so, you... They don't give their consent and then you film them and then give. And I don't think yeah. that this is the case, right? I ain't, really, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta say, I gotta add something, but they, they be going back and forth and it kind of... They be having kind of the same, like, same points or like they be having shit where I, I kind of agree. They, they play devil's advocate with each other and I kind of agree on both ends. That's um, why I ain't going to see He's it helping before. people. Let's see what's going on. And he's not making money out of that. Yeah, but you know. No, he is making money. He is making money. Let's not say that. He's making money. But my son is also, the money that he is making, he's, you feel me, throwing back into Oh, uh, but it's a white man. Shit. Why is it a white man? <sighs> my issue matter? with that is I feel like they can, we can never win. Because the same people that are saying on Twitter, well, why is a white man going... Are the same people that are turning around and looking at Elon Musk and lo- looking at uh, Bezos and say like, why don't you help all those countries? And then you got one guy that actually helped those countries and who, you still got who, something to say. Who, is le- who makes less than them. Let's put that in, let's put that in perspective. So if Elon and, and Bezos... It makes me think that if Elon and Bezos would turn around and help those countries, you would be like... White people helping those countries. Like I feel like that's what will happen. Probably. You have to. You actually have a guy that has the power to do something. The power and the means. And he has the money, and he actually does it. What you've been saying, and what people, and what 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 the the left has been complaining about for a couple of past years, and now you finally have one dude that does it. But not only is he does it like giving away money, but he's he does it in a way. And he can actually make money to help other people. He keep on giving. Like he makes this thing oh. not viable, and you're still not happy. So I feel like this is never. The issue is not 
all those rich people making money and not helping the poor. I don't think the issue, which what your issue is with that. It's something else. I don't think your issue is that white men helping. No. You want issues. You want issues to complain about. I, I would say this. I think it goes a step further. I think when people see folks engaging in this kind of philanthropy and not doing things on a systemic level, what it does is it reflects in them their own inadequacies. In yeah. Life. Because they want to frame themselves as the people who help the downtrodden, not realizing they never take individual steps themselves. They only complain about the system. So they see someone doing a real tangible change, and rather than celebrating it, even though it's affecting them, like thousands of lives of, of people who okay. are struggling. Talk to them. They cool. want to be like, no, because it would mean that they would have to take accountability in their own so. lives and to do action, but they don't want to. That's what it is. That's what it is. The only way you hate on it this hard is because you don't do shit in your own life. Because anybody who actually helps other people in their communities would never talk like this. If you volunteered at a soup kitchen, if you've done community work, you understand how much it changes the lives of the individuals there. So for you to sit there and complain Talk about it, him. I on. know you ain't done shit in life. And the thing about it is that as far as how they're going to be like, yeah, but why don't you have the system? Why don't you have the system? Knowing them well, it takes more than that. And you could, you could only do so. One dude can only do so much. The only facts. And when you start to want to help the whole system, when you're one guy or one organization, that's where you lose money. That's where you lose money. Yeah. All those companies, all those companies that that are taking people's money, right, and saying that they're gonna sell, name them, name them, UNICEF, Oxfam. They go out there, they use your money because they want to help a system or whatever at a bigger scale, right? What happens? Most of that money that you give, like seventy to eighty percent of what you give, mm -hmm. goes out into administration. True. So true. I've been worked at those charities. I can tell you that's absolutely true. It, I, 70 to 80 percent. Is it not more? Like, um, it's not just Red Cross and stuff like that. I and can't Unis remember. UNICEF? What's the one here in Canada that's really popular? Red Cross. No, the one that does all kinds of charities. It's like a big one. It does like uh, fundraising for a bunch of different little charities, but it's a big one that takes care of all. Do you remember? The... No. Okay, so sorry, keep going. But 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 that's the thing is that when you, you try to that's work wild. at a big, if you know a little bit about that and you work in those, if you've worked in those in this industry, because at the end of the day, it is, you know how it works. You know that a lot. A lot of it That's is... That's interesting. I didn't know that. A lot of the money that you're, that people are putting into those Red Crosses and all these other different places, that's going to administrative? I mean, I get it. Like, it's a job, but damn, I thought, like, maybe 40, 40% was going to the administrative because at the end of the day, you want to pay niggas because it's probably their jobs or their livelihood, but at the same time, this organization was set up in order for the, the people who are less fortunate to... I get it, though. You feel me? But that's crazy. I didn't know that. All the money is really... Uh, a lot of the money is wasted. Yeah. A lot of money is a wasted. Go ahead. I'll also say this. Anybody who says he's doing this for clout, I'm like, bitch, you ain't seen his videos. The ones that have nothing to do with philanthropy are some of the biggest videos in the world. The idea that he needs this to further... No, he's the biggest own... YouTuber in the world. Uh, shout out to Mr. Beast, man. I think... Uh, AJ said it the best. The boredom theory shit. People want to have something to complain about or want to have, like... Something to be upset about, like, just you just out of out of pure boredom, like, you have to find something. There has to be something wrong with every single thing, bro. It has to be. So that's what it is. I mean, shout out to Mr. Beast, man. This nigga does so much great things. Hopefully, he keeps keeps continuing to do these things and inspire more people to want to be like like this. Even in even if it's a, on a small scale, you know what I mean. Shout out to Album Preach for doing the video too. Uh, yeah, man. I think this is fire, man. I. I I don't know why he catching flag. I hope he don't stop doing what he doing, man. I hope he continues, and uh, uh, I hope more people, even even myself, if I can ever get in this position, I I definitely want to do something like this. This is dumb fire.